Friday night right now and uh, tomorrow is Saturday and we are getting ready to brew our first collaboration beer with uh, Brew Kaipa out of Ukaipa, California. Derek uh, from Brew Kaipa uh, invited Jason and myself down to uh, brew a beer with him uh, because I mentioned to him, I want to say, I don't know, a month and a half ago that he should brew a hazy IPA because why not? Jason and myself were talking in our private chat about what exactly we wanted to do with the hops uh, and we're thinking of using quite a bit of hops in this. What we're thinking right now is we're shooting for three pounds per barrel of whatever hop or hop combination we think of. Uh, we don't know if that's gonna fly with Derek because uh, that's kind of a tall order. I think they have a 10 barrel brew house, but that's what we're thinking. Tomorrow we're gonna go down there. Uh, we're gonna work out the details of, of the beer as far as the hops go and uh, go from there. So I'm really, really looking forward to this. And thanks, Derek. You're the man. All right, today is November 18th, 2017, and I'm finally brewing a beer today. Uh, I'm not brewing it at home, though. I'm brewing it at Brew Kaipa in Ukaipa, California with uh, Derek Bougie, who's the brewer down there. I'm actually pretty stoked. Last time I brewed a beer on a professional scale was a long time ago. At, I think New Brew Thursday's second anniversary or third at Beachwood Barbecue or Beachwood Brewing, so I'm pretty stoked. This should be cool. Might as well make a vlog. Might as well. So we are uh, currently graining in. Uh, this is the mash tun. So right now we are currently um, transferring the wort to the kettle and we are working on our uh, hop schedule right now. I think we're adding eight ounces of hops to uh, for the bittering edition, which is an insanely small amount of hops. I think it's gonna give us like 25 IBU total. And then we're adding 64 ounces of a blend of Citra, Pacifica, and Galena, I think, uh, to the Whirlpool. Uh, bring everything up to about 35 IBUs, I think, which should be um, ideal for this hazy IPA. Yeah, just getting to start the boil and uh, going from there. Behold, the hardworking John, eschewing all safety protocol. He asked for gloves. Derek said, don't be a pussy. Okay, people. And then one day, red carpet posted on Instagram. With Derek. Bittering edition. Pops. Sixteen six, <laughs> which this goes up to sixteen, so we'll see. Might need the other hydrometer. Wow, you're almost like right on. So that's about fifteen six right there. But we'll see with the temperature correction, we'll be able to add a little bit more. We decided to go with. 18 pounds uh, for each dry hop instead of 20, just because of what he's doing with his hops here at the brewery. So that's the first dry hop edition. This is our box of hops. What we went with in the end was Citra, Equinox, and Pacifica. I'm trying to center myself, I can't see. Hey fan, don't forget to smash that subscribe button. So we're at Brew Kaipa. We just finished up our brew day uh, brewing uh, your first hazy IPA. Yeah, first proper hazy IPA. Yeah, um, so what do you guys think? Uh, Jason, we kind of talked about this amongst ourselves, like in our private chat about like formulating the recipe, um, what we're gonna do for hops and all that. Um, once we actually got here though, I think you didn't understand what we were asking for. The for expectations dry hops. were a little bit higher than, than what I expected. Yeah. So <laughs> that's uh, 
Yeah, very hefty amounts of dry hopping. You wanted so. to do three pounds of dry hop per per dry hop. Yeah, so which so. would have totaled about nine, almost ten pounds for the three dry hopping additions that I. And we said doing. no. We said yeah. I was like. <laughs> A little, a little bit, bit higher, 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 higher. More, little more, little more. So, this beer has triple. 60 pounds of hops in it. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And a 10 barrel batch. It's yeah. a, a Equinox, a Pacifica, Pacifica, and, and Citra. Citra. The ratios are basically 6 6 6 is what we came up with. 6, yeah. Yeah, six, yeah, six three, pounds of each for three dry hop yeah. three, three Triple dry hop, three pounds, uh, or. Sorry, three different hops, six pounds of each, three times. There you go. So it is going to be a hop fucking monster. Yeah. Uh, the, the green bill for this, uh, we wanted something super simple. Uh, so we said basically two row, uh, and I think ours was originally just 20% uh, oats. Uh, you threw some unmalted meat in there, which is fine. Yeah. Um, uh, you had some melanoid. Melanoid mom Yeah, swapped out the melanoid in for Vienna. Yeah. Just to give it a little more texture. Because we're going for texture and super, super light. Yeah, yeah. And it is super Look, light. Looking at the color of the word, it is super, super. Yeah, the way clear. it looks coming out of the, the mash tun, like, was pretty much how we hope it would look coming out of the right tun. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So. Uh, it, it is yeah. white. It's very white. That's it's gonna be green by the end of next week, and all the hops that <laughs> we put in there. Yeah, just it just might. We're just gonna be pouring green sludge out of this. <laughs> That's why. Hey, if people buy it. We can sell it. I'll That's buy fun. some. <laughs> so overall, Derek, thank you for doing this. Um, John, hey, no problem. Was, Pleasure. Glad to have you. Thank you, you on for here, uh, acquiescing to our hop, our insane hop demands. Hey, I, I'm here to serve the community in any way possible, and this is my, how I gotta do it. My contribution to the recipe is more hops. Put in mouth. <laughs>